What is up creators? Derek here from DW Designs and welcome to my fabrication series. Let's do this thing! Welcome back to DW Designs and today we're going to continue part two of how to build the upper control arm as well as the tie rod ends. So in the last video we have went through the process of how to put the bungs on, how to make sure you measure it properly and then we tack the bungs on. Now in between the last video and this video I already welded up the bungs to all of the parts that we are going to be using um, and I already have notched the tubing for the upper control arm as well. So in the last video I explained to you guys everything you're going to need to complete this process and one of those items was an angle finder. So I already got the angle finder on here uh, just to show you guys exactly uh, what, it's, what you need to do and what it's going to look like. So here's the angle finder, and what you want to do is you want to get it right up the center of the tube as close as you can, both ways. And if you count from 90 degrees, that's 15 degrees, which is what the tube notch will be. Let's see if I can get it to focus here. Uh, no, I can't get it to focus. Sorry, guys. Well, so what I did is I set the tube notcher to 15 degrees and then I notched it. Now what I'm using is inch and a quarter chromoly tubing so I ended up getting a inch and a quarter um, hole saw so that way we can notch it so it fits perfect to the other tube. Now here's a very important part guys that you need to remember when notching tubing. When you notch a tube it's going to leave wings we call them wings off the side here that are quite a bit longer um, than what the rest of it is. And it's very important to grind them down and make it the same, as close as you can to the same thickness of material as possible. And the reason for that is, is if you weld it on with just the little wings sticking out, that's actually going to be a weak point because it doesn't have enough to weld onto and it'll just break right off and then you'll have yourself a real nice mess to take care of. All right, so after you're done tube notching and you've got rid of the wings on the sander and got it all nice and clean, ready to go, we're going to start getting it in place and tacking it, double checking, and then welding. Now, how I got it the same as the original control arm was I took some angle iron and I put it on the table and I also grabbed the original control arm and I put the angle iron up against it and then tacked it in place and this is what that looks like so I got tacked on the ends and one in the middle on both sides now what this does is it allows me to get the same exact angle as what it was originally so even if my tube notcher is slightly off I can still get it in the right spot which that's the most important part and make sure you put a little mark here to get it right so that way it's the same distance from the front to here as it is on the original one and then you can start tacking it in place and then after that then you can weld it and another good reason as to why we do the angle iron instead of just welding it up and trusting the tube notch process is because chromoly has a tendency to pull a lot and what I mean by that is you weld it and it'll start pulling it one direction so if you put a piece at 90 and you start welding it it might be 80 or 70 by the time you're done on one side so we put this angle iron on here so that way when we weld it it keeps it from moving anywhere I know I got little tiny winky dink clamps on it right now but when I go weld it I actually put heavier duty clamps and you guys will see that coming up next
All right, so now we got it all tacked together. We're gonna take it apart and cross-reference it to the original one, make sure it's okay, good to go, and then we'll weld it. Okay, so now we got the other one laying on top of here just to cross-reference it. And this is why we do this, because everything else here looks good, except we're about a quarter of an inch out. So we need to stick it back in the tube notcher. Take a little bit off, and then it should fit perfect. Remember those wings I was telling you about earlier? Here's a perfect chance to show you guys. See how it's sticking out a lot and it gets really, really thin in there? You don't want that. You want to grind it down, make it all the same thickness. This is what you guys want, right here. All right, so after we just notched it, we set it in here, we didn't tack it together yet. I just wanted to double check to make sure it was the right length before we tack it again, so that way we don't risk um, hurting the integrity of the tubing by cutting into it accidentally. So we did that, and it is the right length. Um, very, very, very pleased with that. So what we're going to do next is go ahead and tack it and then double check once more and then we can weld.
Alrighty guys, so we got these welded up. Oh wait, where's the other one? Oh, I got it. Whoa, that was a cool trick. Alrighty guys, if you guys like this video, please do me a favor, smash that like button, subscribe, hit the bell if you want notifications on when the next video is posted. Until then, you guys take it easy and thanks for watching.